Hey everyone, did you ever have the problem of having fuzziness or noise in some of your transparency and you're like, I don't like that. Well, that's a problem usually with enabling alpha sample to coverage right here. So what you're going to have to do is instead of doing that, so I'll click it as an example. See, it helps with transparency, but you can see right there, there's some of that weird noise effect. So we're going to disable that. And then you're going to say, hey, but it's not the transparency I'm looking for. Kind of blocks out things and this is not cohesive. So what we're going to do is click off of the material. And what we're going to do is click disable depth right for all of my meshes. Right now I'm working on a eruption vortex kind of mesh uh, VFX. So I'm clicking disable depth right and you can see it all coming together. Better transparency and they'll all work amongst each other. All right, so if you click save, everything works proper. I'm going to click play to show you the animation. And that's how you improve your transparency. You got to enable or toggle on the disable depth right option. And what you have to do over there is you have to go to num shb uh, for the model. And then you have to just open up the meshes that you assigned it to. And then make sure you have disable depth right checked. All right. All right, for disabling depth testing, we're going to be using my Miku mod. Now what that entails is the making a mesh show through other meshes in nearby proximity. For example, I have this uh, hot mesh right here, which is her blush, which is uh, the flame curry item. And basically it shows through and same with the eyelashes and eyebrows gives it more of an anime aesthetic. So I'm going to be going to the model.numshb, you can see in the top left. And then I'm going to be clicking on an item right here. See how it hovers and selects the eyebrows. So basically, if you disable depth testing, since I have multiple of the same eyebrow in that position, probably it's not showing right now. But just trust me, if you disable depth testing, I'll show with more examples right here. See it clipping through. And then if you go right here, it also shows it like that. So that's the example you can use for your meshes. Make sure when you go back to there, click save. So it saves the mesh. And that saves the settings for disable depth testing. Now this part of the tutorial is going to show a material change with the blend state, which allows you to have your mesh or object showing or displaying just like Arsene from Joker. So I'll show you the video real quick right over here. So you'll see right here how Arsen is always behind a Joker. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to SSBH. We're going to open my Cyndaquil mod. And I'm going to show you real quick what that'll do. So I'm going to disable the flame wheel. And I'm going to go right here. Now right now, I'm going to go to the material. I'm going to disable all of the fire except for one mesh. I'm going to go to that material that matches that mesh. Now, I have it currently at one destination color, and that's to allow this orange mesh right here to not show through. So it looks more like the game and the anime. I'll show you what happens when I make it 1-0. See, I don't really like that orange showing. So I have it as one destination color. Anyway. What we're trying to aim for right now is for it to look like arson, right? So we're going to have the combination one minus destination alpha at the top. And then we're going to have this one as one. And you can see right here, it only goes behind the model, just like arson. So if you pay attention to this blend state right here, source color needs to be one minus destination alpha and destination color needs to be one. And that's the way it can work. I wanted to include also because this has a shadow right here and you may not want that. I'm going to save my material and then I'm also going to go to num shexb. Then I'm going to go to the mesh, which is fire one. I'm going to disable cast shadow. So it doesn't cast that shadow. I'm going to save it. I'm going to click control R. Let me toggle these off so you can see real quick. So now it doesn't have the shadow of the fire 
this shadow right here is the uh, the shadow from the head. So now you don't have to worry about that shadow anymore. 